Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to GIS World channel. Today I would like to show you how we can open this DWG file from the AutoCAD inside the QGIS. As you see, my file DWG, we have some information like buildings, uh, boundary and uh, parcels, and as you see the street name and the streets, and some other information. And we would like, as you see here is our layer panel, and we would like to open this file inside our QGIS desktop. And let's check how we can open it and how it will be working. After opening my QGIS desktop, going to the project and here important export and the last uh, icon import layer from the DWG and DXF file as you see import drawing into the Joe package. Here we will you know source drawing and after that you can choose your uh, DWG file here and here you can you know define your coordinate system is up to your project and the target package will be saved as a geo package and here we have you know some uh, important or some different uh, option here expand block uh, geometry uh, expand uh, autocad blocks into actual geometry like a lines polygons or symbol and here only insert the point or uh, combining of those only import the insert uh, insertion points of the autocad and blocks as a point feature so it means if you need just a location of the point or some some you know specific uh, uh, geometry you can use this one but if you are using the expand block geometry it takes more time and more detailed maps so let's keep it like this and if we, we just activate the use curves uh, you know uh, preserve the curved and uh, you know geometry it maybe it's it's up to your you know uh, file how it would take and how long it would take so it will be maybe around uh, one minute or less than one minute but it will be written for example how many entities uh, processed already and we will be waiting to have the result inside our QGIS and to check how was the result but first of all it will be added here and also you can define the group name and we have some kind of you know preview and here also we can merge all of them in one layer or to have uh, the, the same layer name but we had already into our uh, AutoCAD file or DWG file hopefully will be finished and but it's not bad to know for example uh, uh, this D, DWG format must shouldn't be that kind of in the new uh, version of the uh, DWG and I tried uh, so it must be you know uh, older than uh, 2018 uh, and if your DWG file is saved uh, for the newer version you must you know change it to the older version so that's great we have the result layer visible and after that you know we can have the merge layer or select or deselect for example uh, some kind of you know layers are not necessary for us to have in map if I just say okay great we have the result inside the QGIS and if I just zoom in we see the result and if I just expand my layer you see the, exactly the layer name and the information what we had already in the into our uh, AutoCAD file and so but you see we do not have the colors because it's not supported from the DWG file you know to to import the color from the uh, AutoCAD inside the QGIS but if you change it or convert it to the DXF file and after that opening from this or from uh, another DXF plugin you will also have the colors so I hope you enjoy from this video or if you have other suggestion, you know, to have the, uh, the DWG file, maybe with the color or some other information, please write it down in the comment section and uh, change your information with us. Thank you very much and see you soon. Bye.